Today we discuss Kylo Ren in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Welcome back everyone, this is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Thank you all so very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now, today I really wanted to look at Kylo Ren as a character in comparison to how he was in The Force Awakens, because we do know that he is going to have this massive transition in character. Now, when we're looking at Kylo Ren, I want to base this off of the long old rumors of what is to come in The Last Jedi for Kylo Ren. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a rumor during production of this film that Kylo Ren would go through a Forceback Vision sequence, much like Rey did in The Force Awakens. So, what I like about this whole entire concept is it really is a parallel for each character. You have Rey touching one lightsaber and going into a Forceback Vision, and perhaps, and perhaps in The Last Jedi, Supreme Leader Snoke somehow, some way, got hold of Darth Vader's original lightsaber, the one that Luke Skywalker, you know, essentially had it, you know, tumble down the Death Star 2 after chopping his own father's hand off. I think that there could be a sequence where we do see that Supreme Leader Snoke has Darth Vader's original lightsaber. And I think that a part of Kylo Ren's training could very well be touching his own grandfather's lightsaber, a very Force-sensitive object that would suck him into a Force-back vision sequence. Now, we have heard that Obi-Wan Kenobi, rumors by the way, would be returning in some way, shape, or form in this film, specifically in the form of a voice. Now, visually speaking, we have heard that there is a good possibility for that as well, but nothing is confirmed. However, I think it would be so amazing if Kylo Ren were to touch his own grandfather's lightsaber, Darth Vader's, and he sees the horrific tragedy of Darth Vader on Mustafar. You see Anakin slash Vader engulfed in flames as Obi-Wan Kenobi just stands there watching him essentially die and leaves him for dead. And I think that what would be so amazing to me is if you have Kylo Ren, this character who is so obsessed with his grandfather, not just his grandfather, but the concept of who his grandfather once was, Darth Vader. If you look at The Force Awakens, he admires him. And if you look at The Last Jedi, he is becoming more and more like Darth Vader. He's got the cape now, he's got his own TIE Fighter of sorts, he's got the scar like Anakin Skywalker almost, it's all thin like his. And I think that there's definitely going to be a sequence where we do see Kylo Ren understanding his grandfather even more so. And I think that the best way to do this is through a Forceback Vision. And what better way to do it is to show him the horror of what his father, or his grandfather I should say, had to go through. And as he sees a Jedi standing there, on the high ground, right, just looking at Anakin Skywalker slash Vader getting engulfed in flames and essentially just, you know, leaving him for dead. That's it. And I think that this could be a part of his training that Snoke said to Hux, it is time to complete his training. And just imagine how amazing this would look on screen to have a force-back vision where Kylo Ren gets sucked into it and it's nothing but fire all over Anakin and lava and then you go to like perhaps uh, where he has the vision of perhaps I would say on the Death Star 2 and you see Emperor Palpatine all these cool and amazing things they could play around with to just give us a little taste of nostalgia from the original trilogy like how they did with the Rey Force back vision where you know first of course we're at uh, Cloud City on Bespin, and we see the whole the whole hallway, and I think that was a big nostalgia piece. We hear Yoda, and we hear Luke Skywalker yelling no, which gave us the imagery of, you know, Luke hanging on to, to that structure as Darth Vader told him the truth. I think that to bring more of the dark side nostalgia from the original trilogy, it would be a great way to implement that in the film by use of a force back vision for Kylo. So guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about this in the comments section, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, 
do make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. Thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.